right, once again, it is Qualitha, Qualana, and Amoya. Happy Memorial Day. I hope you all have had a fabulous time eating the ribs, the chicken, hot dogs, uh, Polish boys, French fries, chicken wings, ribs. Okay, it's just plain. Whatever you ate, I hope you all had a good time. And remember our loved ones that we've lost here and um, everybody, okay? So we're gonna get into our 10 minute talk. We missed you all. Hope you all, like I said, had a wonderful long weekend, whoever was off work, but let's get in our 10 minute talk. Cause we're building. The 10 minute topic of today is if you were on a date, would you stay home? and cook or go out or go to a movie if i'm on a date yeah yeah um, if you're on a date you know like your date would you rather i guess the question is like would you rather would you rather okay i will want to eat um no i would probably stay home and cook i like cooking myself and i think it would be romantic if he and I cooked together. That way we know what we're putting in our food. We know if it's somebody's hair is one of ours, hopefully it's not. Um, we know that, um, you know, just it should be healthy and it should be good because we know what we're cooking. So I think that, and it will also get some time for us to, to talk and, you know, really know each other with, get to learn each other without all of the distractions of everybody else being around. Um, you know, or anything like that. So I think that I would just stay home and cook and do it that way. How about the movies? Um, the movies, we could just do a movie at home. You know what I mean? It, we can just go ahead and, and watch something at home on Netflix or something like that. And I think that's relaxing. So there you get both of them. You get the dinner and the movie and it's all intimate. You can even do a little um, a little canopy tent at home where you are under the movie, uh, a canopy at home with a candlelight, candlelit dinner and all of that good stuff and um, have it even more romantic. And it's just the two of y'all. It's more cozy, more intimate. So you're more of a indoor you like to date at home instead of go out yeah that's what it sounds like yeah i'm a, I'm an indoors girl yeah <laughs> why 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 do you like indoors more i just think it's more intimate um it depends on the activity but for me i think i just think it's more intimate and i just like being in the comfort of my own home sometimes hmm. okay yeah. okay, boo. Not okay. Me. <laughs> you're not about it Okay, I didn't think it was. Uh -oh. Okay. <laughs> I um am different. I would go out. It depends on who this person is. I'm going on a date with. It. If it's a first date, um, like we'll get to in the comments, then we're going out. You know, All if it's right. second, third, even four fifths, we're going out. Um. Okay. We're not coming probably to my house until we're a relationship, we're a couple in a relationship, an established couple. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I would go to the movies. I don't have a problem with that. I would like to do lots of things. I um, love going outdoors and being outdoorsy. I do like staying in my home. And especially if you have a very nice home, of course, you're going to love staying in it. So, and of course, if you pay for it, you know, you're going to want to stay in it. But um, depending on the status of our relationship and who this person is, then um, we're probably going out if it's a first date. But um, I mean, definitely going out if it's a first date. But other than that, I have no problem staying home if I love it. But I do prefer maybe once a week or um, every other week if it's, you know, an established relationship. We go out and just explore something we haven't done before. It's fun. Or do something we love doing together. Really? Well, as anybody that knows me, and if you all viewers don't know me, well, let me explain. 
I like to go outside. So we're going out. We're going to hit the streets, okay? I like to go out because, not because we're spending money, not just that. But when you go out, you get the vitamin D, you get the vitamin E, you get the vitamin A, you get all these vitamins from going outside. And, you know, to me, it's like when you go out, you have time to see other people, talk to other people, get fresh air. Because to me, it's like when you're in the house, you don't get that much fresh air unless you open a window or sit on a patio. But to me, it's like I only do that once it's kind of like wind down time. When I'm at home, that's wind down. I did my running. Now it's relaxing because I just can't wake up and only if I'm not feeling well. Now, if I'm not feeling well, then I could just be in the house a lot. But if I'm feeling good, I'm out. I'm out. So we going to the movies. We going to eat. Um, we want to do everything because, like I said, that's how you get to know what that person likes to do. Okay. Yes. I guess you can find out what the person likes to do at home too. But you know what I'm saying? If you stay at home too long with your date then to me, it's like, they're only going to want to do one other thing because I'm at home. What's that? I don't um, know. Kissing and hugging and rubbing and touching and all these other stuff. <laughs> Is this rated PG? Yes. It's PG. R X X it's R 12 and under. It's not even PG-13. 12 and under. So... In that case, they might want to color. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, let's check these birds comments. And fleas. Oh. Birds and fleas. <laughs> um, uh, Roseman said, I'll rather cook. Tamika said, depends. If it's a first date, I'd rather go out. I'm with you. And Roseman said, movies suck. I can't even talk. Yes, what she said to me because said I don't like watching movies out and about. I would go out. Um, Nate said I'd rather have an active and memorable first date, and that's that's a good thing. Um, Roseman said she likes she's more like a wife. Um, so I guess if a woman likes to stay in, she's more like a wife. Um, dang, mm -hmm. five to six like dates one. going out, <laughs> and. Now I don't know about going out all the time. Yeah. Ferguson Phillips said going out helps in bonding. Um, and I can see that. It could, I know going out probably helps you to know how your mate acts in certain situations around other people. So you can check their temperature um, around other people. <laughs> Wanda said, I don't want to cook, so let's go out and enjoy ourselves. Uh <laughs> Roseman said we can go out back in the gazebo and get some fresh air and okay, ain't, okay Roseman he said ain't nobody trying to do all that on the first date so I guess he keeping a PG-13 on the first date yeah now there are some like I was saying if you love your home and uh and if you're comfortable yeah bring that person over and explore the outside you can do inside outside meaning you can stay home and still go outside in the backyard I just recently viewed a home and it had a lovely, lovely backyard. It was like a park. So yeah, if you have a home like that, of course, you know, so do it. You know, it's up to you. I mean, y'all gonna live y'all life, huh? Yeah, Keith said, um, go out. Yeah. I mean, I can understand when somebody said, you gotta be careful going out these days. I agree with that. You know, it, it's true. For, you know, really, you got to be careful being at home, going out. You just got to pray every time you, you know, wake up, go to sleep, you know, because um, you never know what could happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely have to stay prayed up. But at the same time, you definitely want to be vigilant, but not fearful. You know what I mean? You don't want to live your life in fear. Um, Roseman also said if we get sexual on the first date it's mostly not going to be anything serious yeah he said it's going to be 12 and under so <laughs> <laughs> no, I, have heard, I have actually heard some people say 
they, you know, took care of business on the first day and they're married. And, yeah, got married. I heard that too. I, I heard it. I've never heard it in person and, you know, from some one of my friends or anything like that, but I've heard about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've heard and people like that. Been together for many years. years. But, you know, that's just me. But. Right. But I mean, I don't see anything wrong with what um, people want to do with their time. If they, if the chemistry is there, I mean, fine, but you know, you got to just be safe, but yeah, some people feel, yeah, instant chemistry. So whatever. And then if you're going to do that, you know, on the first date, you got to make sure your feelings, you didn't put all your feelings in that basket. Cause you know, you never know what's going to happen after. Is the person going to stay? Or are they going to call you later on that night? Or are they going to say, um, that was good. Bye. You know, <laughs> or just ghost you all together. Or <laughs> that wasn't good. Get out. You know, yes. I don't. <laughs> now, nine times out of 10, although the exception is that some couples do get married after, bank on you getting ghosted. I would just bank on getting ghosted if I ever did that. So, huh. You know, protect yourself at all costs, physically and mentally, spiritually, all that. Girls and I said, <laughs> it's like the lottery, but don't get mad that he doesn't like you after he hit because ladies need to know it's that's not a contract. So he's not obligated, is what he's saying. He is not obligated to wife you up. <laughs> <laughs> after a first night <laughs> encounter so that's why you have to protect your you got to protect yourself you know men and women have to protect your hearts right and your parts yes physically as well because stds and babies are real right well this yeah. was a fun one um uh, what would you do on the first day go out stay in go to the movie whichever very very fun we appreciate everyone who's tuned in and who's watched us and who's commented we definitely love when we get a conversation started and you all like to join us as always if you missed us live you can go back and watch the replay leave in the comments what you would want to do in your first date give us some new different uh ideas of first dating since we're you know we're out there and what do you mean out oh there? i mean yeah. dating, dating. No, because we ain't out there. (laughs) Not like that. We're we're out there. (laughs) Not like that. Just dating. Roseman Mm -hmm. says so many times women think that since they open your legs, you owe them something, but not. So yeah, again, a a man is not obligated is what he's saying to to wife you up or to be with you after that. So um, know what you're getting into before you get in. Let something get into you. So as oh, always, remember uh, to build well, and <laughs> build better. Build a brother up, build a sister up. For it gets hot. <laughs> <laughs>